So we know that the pandemic led to an increase in substance abuse and uh, certainly anyone challenged with mental health issues. There are people, there are organizations out there on the front line every day providing help, help providing treatment, support. Gooden Center in Pasadena is one of those places. Uh, George Riccadella is the development director of development for Gooden Center, and he was kind enough to join us now because they've got a couple of great events that are going on. George, nice to see you. But before I get into the great events that you have that are sort of community spirited and building awareness, I, I kind of want to talk to you about where we are at right now. And, and the folks there at Gooden Center, you know this all too well, right? The pandemic worsened challenges. We were already seeing people struggling with substance abuse, people struggling with mental health issues. Um, talk about that, address the challenge you've been facing. Our phone started ringing off the hook about yeah. a year and a half ago. Yeah. You know, uh, we have seen an uptick in everybody with even the most benign of conditions. Um, I mean, you know, my, myself included in that. The last year and a half have certainly not been short on isolation, anxiety, uncertainty, fear. And um, that's why places like the Gooden Center are right now more important than ever. And, and that's the thing, right? Because if you're in recovery, going into a pandemic, we talked about it. You remember we had conversations around that. The idea of facing a year and a half, we didn't know how long we were gonna be facing isolation to face that battle alone. And you had your own voyage in this path, my friend. You're, you had your own voyage of, of recovering from uh, a substance abuse and, and what have you. And, and uh, congratulations, by the way. So you know what, you, you walk the walk, you talk the talk. Thank you much. Uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, uh, if I keep doing what I'm doing, I will celebrate eight years of sobriety Honey. in the second week of November. Congratulations. My life is uh, vastly different than it was eight years ago. It's vastly different. And, you know, one of the reasons that you do it is because of this little guy. Uh, I think we have a photo of your, your kiddo, and I know that's uh, a big reason why you stay on the straight and narrow is because that little love nugget right there needs yeah. papa. <laughs> that little that little lug nugget will be nine years old in a week. You're kidding and, uh, me. He's got a five-year-old brother. That photograph was taken on the front steps of the Gooden Center in Pasadena. And uh, the Good Center main house is a substance abuse treatment center that's been there since 1962. 1962. So you, yeah. you guys have an insight into what it takes. You can't do this alone. No, no. Uh, you know, that's one of the things that we engage our, our clients in. And, uh, you know, we, we start, we like to think of ourselves as a bit of a family. Uh, one of the mm -hmm. things we engage our clients in is the idea that you cannot do this alone. The Gooden Center offers aftercare for free for life. Oh as my long goodness. As you are willing to engage in this fellowship, you are part of a thriving recovery network. Well, and, and that's the point to make, right? It's different from, I don't know, you break your leg, it heals, you move on. When you're dealing with substance abuse issues, right? When you're dealing with addiction, it's with you, <laughs> as you know, it's with you. That aftercare is vital. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, there's the uh, old saying, it's, you know, your disease is doing push-ups in the parking lot <laughs> while you're there. <laughs> Man, and don't you want to just give that disease a kick in the ribs while it's down there giving me 10? Uh, look, oh. go ahead, you were gonna finish the thought. It's one of the things that we, we we teach here. It's one of the very one of the many tools that we give to our clients, both in substance abuse and mental health issues, is on a day by day dip basis, how to um, how to provide the care for yourself and the care for the people that you love that we just couldn't do before. And I imagine part of it too is helping with the shame, right? That weight of shame can be a paralyzer. It can it can prevent people from getting help, and it can prevent us from looking at ourselves truthfully. One hundred percent. You know that. That guilt that came with it, it's, it was so much easier for me to resign myself as just a horrible person oh, than it was George. as someone who had had an issue that, that there was actual help for. You know? Man, what a moment of grace right there, honey, that you just shared, because I think that's uh, a way for us all to shift our perspective about somebody that's in the struggle of an addiction. My goodness. Okay, a couple of events you guys are doing that are, that are fundraisers for Good and Center. You got a 5K and a fun run, and then you also have Good and Gives. Tell us about each of them. Oh, my goodness. So uh, on October 30th in Lacey Park in the city of San Marino, we will have the Good and Center Run for Recovery. It is a 5K, there it is, 
a 5K fun run family event. You will see kids running around. One of the things we really <laughs> like to get across with this event is this is about less, this is about drugs and alcohol, but it's without a doubt about our families. We yeah. re-enter the stream of life here. Yeah. And so if you are interested, come on out to Lacey Park on October 30th. 7 a.m. We get started really early in the morning. There will be coffee. Thank God. And uh, tell them George sent you. Greet Todd at the front desk. And, you know, George said and, there'd and be coffee. Where's my coffee? <laughs> come on out and then and, and run for recovery. Um, we we need the help. We need the awareness. That sounds great. And uh, and then Good and Gives is where we get to actually give back. Good and Gives is a program where we have partnered with a, another nonprofit and once a month we go into communities who simply need help and we just we just give them stuff. We uh, give, you know, we had a back to school event last month where we were giving away, gave away about 180 backpacks That's and school great. supplies. And uh, there's no strings attached. If you, if you need it, it, you come on down and get it. And uh, it's just, you know, I sleep a lot better at night knowing that I do some of these things. Oh, man, that that means a lot because there we know that the need is real uh, now more than ever. OK, so do you see the website right there on the bottom? Take a little photograph, jot it down. You can get information on, on the fun run, the 5K. You can also get information on the Good and Gives program because maybe you're in need. Maybe you know someone in need or maybe you'd like to donate. We like to hook you up in all fashions. Say George sent you. He promised coffee at the fun run. George, really I'm a delight coming. to chat with you, and congratulations on your upcoming eight years sober anniversary, honey. Thank you so much. Michelle. Well Have done, brother. Well done. Keep on fighting the good fight. Well. Uh, all right. Talk about talking the fight. good fight.